Rade, Rade. Thank you so much. Welcome, dear Manjaris, sisters. Thank you, Andaka Gopinath. So nice. Here in Vrindavan, we are in a constant flow of intense feelings. And today I'm in a heavy flow of separation feelings <clears throat> because I have to leave tomorrow. And uh, that create a special atmosphere inside myself. We had such an intense time here. And just we come from an invitation of a young girl from Italy, North, I think South Tyrol, huh? Initiation. Initiation. And um, yes, this is a place where so many feelings <clears throat> happen. And um, Gurudev, now he is recovered. And there is so much intense feeling he is sharing these days. And um, yeah, especially this topic to live in Vrindavan in the association of like-minded devotees. These days, many times we speak about this. And um, we read different books. Prema Bhakti Chandika. But today we come back to our Shishi Vilab Kushmanjali. <coughs> That is actually from Raghunathas Goswami, inspired by Rupa Goswami, his teacher. And the commentary by the great soul, Ananda Das Babaji, especially. And um, because of him, everything becomes more and more intense and clear. What is meaning of Manjari Bhav? And Anandanas Babaji helped so much in the explanation to understand the difference between uh, these moods, different moods. and help so much to understand the teaching of our Guru Manjari. Because there are some fine differences we have to understand to follow his footsteps and those of his Guru and his Guru to become Das Anudas. These are so important things. So, and because I know that this verse is very close to our Gurudev, Sadhu Maharaj, I select today this verse 16 of the Vilapush Mandalay. Oh, Goddess, I shall never pray to you for anything else but the excellent service of your lotus feet. I offer my constant obeisances to the idea of becoming your friend, but I really relish 
the idea of becoming your maidservant. I, in, in the explanation, I go now not uh, consequently from A to Z. <laughs> I have some topics, what I like to share. Also, to come deeper in this. Actually, this verse explain this meaning of a fine tuning. between Saki Bhav and Manjari Bhav. Srila <coughs> Raghunath Das Goswami prays. Ha Devi, please give me the excellent service of your lotus feet. This service is so excellent because it is completely free from shame and reverence. And it is very luscious. And here we can understand the speciality of Manjaris. It's completely free from shame and reverence. And this is also a difference between the Saki Bhav, Gopi Bhav. That what the divine couple share with the Manjaris is unique. And this to understand is for our way very important. Such service cannot be found anywhere. But now it is given as a special token of mercy of Sri Gura Sundara. So, I felt these days the blessing of Anandadas Babaji very much. And I judge myself that I didn't uh, search his association in the time when he was here and embodied. Because all this understanding of the Vilap Kushmanjali in our mood, it's like founded in his explanations. How, if we only have the verses, maybe we can understand. But this very fine tuning is given by Ananda Das Babaji. I felt so much. So, and he's just leaving. But this is like an eternal instruction and uh, eternal blessing left behind from him. And our Gurudev Sadhu, Sadhu Maharaj is always sharing this with us. And so we can enter in the same mood that Manjaris are. And by give up all false ego and enter in this Manjari bath, we will also leave <coughs> all shame and reverence in the mood of this exclusive service to our Swamini. Raguna Das is a Nitya Sitta Kinkari and the Guru of the Gaudiya Sampradaya. So, 
only this small verse is explaining so much to us and how important it is <coughs> to follow them. I think, Gora Sundar, Gora Sundar, if I can say something. Please. I find it very interesting that uh, Baba is saying here something very different, so, <laughs> apparently. He is saying that Raghunath Das is the guru of the Gaudiya Sampradaya. So normally, and of course, especially we are Ra Rupanuka. Vaishnavas. But Baba is saying here something very deep and something very, very special. Why is Baba saying this? Why is Baba saying this? Why should, should he not say Rupa Goswami is the guru of the Rupa Nuka Sampradaya? Yes. But Baba wants to make here a very, very deep and very important point. He is saying Raghunath Das Goswami is the guru of the Gaudiya Vaishnava Sampradaya. Why? Because it is also said that he is the Prayochan Acharya. He is the full, complete and perfect example of the Prayochan Tattva, of our Prayochan. So what is the goal? The goal is to attain Manjari Bhav, to attain Swarup Siddhi in Manjari Bhav. So therefore, Baba is saying here, for us, Manjari Bhav Sadakas. Of course, we follow Rupa Nuka Bhakti, but... At Acharya Rice, Raghunath Das Goswami is the perfect example for Manjari Bhav Sadhana and the, and the evidence you have in your hands. Labakusa Manjali is the evidence that he is actually, and now is also a very important point, by the Kripa of Rupa Goswami. Raghunath Das Goswami is our Pariyochan Acharya. Rupa Goswami, he didn't went into much details about Manjari Bhav. You can all see that. He was giving the structured and the very, very paka description in Bhakti Rasamrita Sindhu and more in Uchwala Nilamani. But actually, what was most deep and most perfect explained is in Vilabhakusa Manjali. And therefore, Baba is saying here, he is the guru because he represents the Prayochan, the aim and the goal of the Vaishnavas. Jai Shri Rathe. All glories to the assembly devotees and to Baba and Sadhu Maharaj. Jai Ho. Radhe Radhe. Tarun Baba, thank you so much. You are right. Because Raghunath, he is living there. He is in as Manjari and Rupa, he desires to go there. But actually, we can see that Rupa used also his disciple for to giving this to us. So we can say he is the guru of the Gaudiya Sampradaya. And I read the difference between. No, I don't like to speak about differences. <laughs> we like to be very respectful to everything the beautiful and sweet service of shirata is also most dear to us of all kinds of servanthood the servitude of shirata is the greatest also you are a saki you are also a maidservant. Adolescent in form and attributes and qualified for the most intimate service. There is no other kind of servitude that can soothe the, he the, he the hearts of the Gaudiya Vaishnavas. Gaudiya Vaishnavas. <coughs> The Manjaris are actually taking part in the Mathura Ras, but still it is servitude. For their service is within the scope of the Mathura Rasa, Madhura Rasa. 
Rupa Raghunath Pade Hoibe Akuti and so on. When will I, by following in the footsteps of Srila Rupa and Srila Raghunath Das Goswami, understand the love of Rata and Krishna, as spoken by Narottam Das Thakur? Rupa and Raguna Das bodies are made from tip to toe of Yugala Ujjwala Das, splendid consciousness of the divine couple. How eager their hearts were. How can one become observed in this splendid consciousness? without being full of this Yugala Ujjvala Rasa. Maybe Jainanda Maharaj, you can explain a little more of Yugala Ujjvala Rasa. Please. He always this <laughs> You are an expert in this, very much. Number one. No, maybe Tarun Lama could explain more nicely. So Yugala means uh, Radha Krishna, like uh, together, mm. like Lama. Guru Dev usually explain Lama means not Balaram, not Lama Chandra. You Maharaj, you are not loud enough. Oh. It's okay. Now, Radhe, okay? Okay? Yeah. Now, better. <coughs> so, like, uh, like a Yugara means uh, Radha Krishna united together. Mm -hmm. So like Lama, Lamaiti Lama. So both are together uh, exchanging Raga and Anuraga mm -hmm. and uh, doing uh, Amara's pastime. Mm. And Ujwara means uh, like uh, lightning, very brilliant means most tasteful, most full of rasa, <coughs> juicy, and most elevated, <coughs> and the feeling and the taste. Mm -hmm. So many kind of rasa there, shanta, and uh, dasha, sakya, basarya, and Madhurya rasa. So Madhurya rasa, sometimes we may understand like kind of wife and husband, mm. Swakiya rasa. Mm. Also, we may understand like Raba and beloved. Mm -hmm. So, but in Buraja, so Gaurasundra is saying, no fear and no reverence, no shy, shame, no shame, no shyness. So this very spontaneous, very lovely, and so much full of taste. Even Krishna forget he I am Supreme Lord. No, I am like a coward boy. I'm gardener. I'm uh, like a, what is it? <clears throat> a good day if say if I'm like a watch a watchman, watchman. Mm. So Krishna forget everything, completely inundate with loving feeling, especially Parakya Baba. Especially Radhika is Fradini Shakti personified. Also is Mahababa personified. Among the Mahababa, Madana Mahababa is a personification. So Krishna Radhika could taste most sweetness of Krishna. Mm -hmm. And this sweetness could taste in Madhura Rasa. Mm -hmm. And Radha Krishna together, especially Nikunja. So this Rasa, this brilliant, supreme, most tasteful, most sweet sweetness. This I feel this is uh, uh, 
あれですね、えー、ま、ウジュアラ。ユガラ、ユガラ、ウジュアララサ。This is, I'm feeling, maybe, タルンババ or some, you know, highly respectful Vaishnava, please add. Please come. I'm not elevated, but I am always <coughs> eager to serve you, Satchayananda Maharaj and the Vaishnavas and Baba. So, this is a perfect explanation what you gave. This is the Yugala. The Yugala、just、Rasa our... is Madhurya Rasa.、Wow. Tarun、so, Baba, you see, our new sister is just coming. Wow. Sorry. Radhe. So nice. Like... Radhe, Radhe. <coughs> <coughs> Uh, her name is、uh, Shamala. Shamala. Try her. Show yourself, Shamala.、Yes. Wonderful. Say hello. So please, please bless、oh. her. Every devotee, please bless her. Give blessing to、sure. your sister. So our new sister. <laughs> so nice. Welcome. Thank you. So this Yukala Rasa, like Maharaj now wonderfully explained. This is the special gift of Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu. Madhurya Rasa was always there. Always it has been there. Great poets like Chandidas, Vidyapati, and all these great poets up to Mahaprabhu, they all described the love for Krishna in Krishna Snehadika, for love, more love for Krishna. This was always there, this Madhurya Rasa as a lover. But what Mahaprabhu was, was giving and is still giving to us is something very, very different. We don't want to be in the middle of amorous pastimes with Krishna. We don't want to enjoy with Krishna. We want that our Swamini has the fullest enjoyment. And this is actually this Ujjwala Rasa. It was never given before. It was never ever given before, this Rasa. This highest, highest Rasa. Swa Bhakti Sriyam to the lotus feet of Swamini. Within Madhurya Rasa, there are so many nuances, and mostly there is those who love Krishna more, who love the Yukala equally, and those who love Swamini more. So we are in the group, and this is the gift of Mahaprabhu, which was never given before. We are in the group of the girlfriends of Swamini who h a s More love, who have more love for Swamini, more love for her to achieve and to attain her beloved. So, we are in a very, very fortunate situation that we actually can practice this Manjari Bhav Sadhana, which was never ever given before Mahaprabhu appeared. So, this is a very, very unique gift, and we are very fortunate that we can have this and that we can practice this. And this was is so special that, like, Ma, like now, r a g u n a t h a s Goswami is saying, I give praise in this verse to all the Sakis. I don't care about friendship. n a r u t a m Das Thakur is also saying, I don't care about Saki Bhav. I want Manjari Bhav. I want this special, special relationship with Radhika. And this is called, this Stai Bhav is called Bhavolasa Rati. When the love of the Mancharis is greater for Radhika than that for the Lord. This is then called m h a v a l a s a r a t i This is a very, very special mood, and this is our privilege by the mercy and kripa of Gurudev that we can have this path and we can strive and aspire for this most wonderful path. It was never given before. And why is this so special? Very easy because. The Sakis cannot comprehend what Radhika is feeling when she is in the powerhouse, in the kunchas of, of her loving love play. But we, as Manjaris, we are Tadatmya. We are so close to Swamini that,、uh, that she is giving these rays of Madanakya Mahabhav into the hearts of the Manjaris. The Sakis, Lalita, and Vishaka, they can never comprehend, understand, and Taste these emotions and the kinkaris, the mancharis, they can. And that is the very, very, what here is said, this highest tip to toe Ujjwala Rasa, Yukala Ujjwala Rasa, and Rupa Raguna. They are the personification of this Yukala Ujjwala Rasa. Yukala Ujjwala Rasa is just a synonym for us, 
subjectively Manjari Bhav Sadhana. This is Yukala Uchwala Rasa is actually Manjari Bhav. This is by the mercy of Raguna Das Goswami and by the mercy of our Acharyas, we can now understand this. And this is so precious that, yeah, no words can describe this. Beautiful. Beautiful. Thank you very much. Tarun Baba explained Babo Rasarati. And then uh, I learned from you. I learned this no, from you also, Maharaj. No, 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 so no, I, I from you. Like a parrot, so, no. so this is to say we say Unnatu Jarasa. Tarun yes. Baba explained. Before Mahaprabhu, nobody gave us. And uh, this mm -hmm. Manjari Baba, now who is done. so you know, who is now Gorasundra Prabhu will explain, or Baba will explain. This is very nice to hear. I'm always uh uh uh, the, the, telling this one thing, we have to become, if we like to grow, we have to become children. <laughs> right? Tarun Baba? What you said? If we like we to become grow, like children. We have to become children. Yes. Manjari is. I not I honestly tell you, I honestly tell you, even in the normal material life, I don't see myself as an adult. I don't like adulthood. I don't like this. <laughs> <laughs> I'm for, I'm 53 years old, but I'm not playing this stupid game of adulthood. It's it's boring. It's not fresh. It, it, I'm still I'm still like 15, 16 years old <laughs> in my material life, and spiritual life. A little different. There's no meaning. But I huh? never I never like this concept of getting adult you know what is adult it's serious and no we have yeah, to be innocent good is saying some, we have uh, to be innocent yes and uh, also as uh, uh, more years we are in this material body this uh, identification with the material body is growing into us and this completely we have to give up and uh, become again a child this is very interesting to meditate on this. And I just remember the word of my Jesus. He always said, if you like to enter the spiritual abode, you have to become a child. And the same is what the Gurudev is giving. He give us <laughs> a, a, a body from a kinkery, eternal. And we have to enter this body, accept it. This mood we have to accept also. And how to do this? This is given by this Mahatmas here. They are explain in the detail what is the meaning of this body? What is the meaning of this service? This is really amazing what we share here. That this is possible, Jainanda. Right? Yes. Like you said, it was not before. Not open. And now we read. <coughs> and I like to share because you spoke about Bhavulas Rati. Tarun Baba. There is, I found a, a rare quote. I did not find so many quotes of our mother Janava, Janava Ma. But here in the explanation, we find something. The There's one, one page more, yes, if you like to follow this. The Manjaris are endowed with this Bavulas Rati. Srila Ramai Thakur inquired from Srimati Janava Thakurani about this Bhavulas Rati. This I like to share with all of you and read it. Ramai Thakur said, Oh, please tell me more about Bhavulas Rati. For those saints, it is always nectar to listen to this, like it is now so beautiful to again to listen to this what she answered to him our mother janava said 
because all our line come from this mother, Janavama. She said, listen carefully, O son. Bhavulasarati can only be found in Vrindavan. Vrindavan, where Kishora eternally sports with Kishori, cannot be perceived even by the Devas. This to understand, this, this, this is very rare. <clears throat> And even the devas cannot perceive this. Sri Rupa Manjari, she says, and Sri Rati Manjari are observed in the ecstasy of devotional service day and night. We know how important also this nighttime service is. They are all endowed with Bhavulas Rati. And they are happy only when the divine couple is happy. They don't know anything else but that. They are completely equal to Srimati. Wow. These maid servants are completely equal to Srimati. Only their bodies are different, Janavama says. They are one soul and one life heir, and they are all controlled by Radha. So, this is also our desire to become controlled by our Radhika, by our Swamini. She should take completely control about us. When she said, no, even when she not said, go right. We have to find out her desire before she is speaking. To understand, okay, she likes that we walk right side or left side. without words. When we read all these books here, then many times, no, there is no words, only maybe one hint, small hints. Then Manjaris exactly know the desire of the Swamini. So beautiful, these words of our mother Janava. Maybe one likes to add something. Goranga Sunda, what to, to Bhavulas Rati? This is so beautiful, huh? Radhe, thank you very much for all your sharings. I'm trying to dive in the mellow of Bhavula Sarati, Manjari Bhava, and you're helping me so much. Yeah, this is the unique gift of Chaitanya Mahaprabhu. And we have to appreciate very much because this Madhurya Rasa has two types. One type is Madhurya, as we know, like exchange, <clears throat> exchange of love between Yuga Lakishore, this Shringar. But also there is another type of Madhurya Rasa in Vrindavan, we are talking, and this is Audarya. Mm. Audarya, it means so, I don't know this English word, is so graceful magnanimous magnanimous yes i always forget this <laughs> magnanimous and this is 
Actually, gracious is much better. Gracious is, yeah. So, and this is the symptom of Chaitanya Mahaprabhu. And why this is accounted in Madhura Rasa? Mm. Because someone who is relishing sweetness of Yugala Kishore, he immediately wants to give to others. He is mm. very <coughs> graceful. And Chaitanya Mahaprabhu is embodiment of this Audarya. Mm. Because without him, we will never be in the position even to hear, to listen, to speak about this Bhavala Sarati. Wow. Without him, we would not be even mm, in situation to know about Janava Mata. Mm. But Chaitanya Mahaprabhu, through Nityananda, and Goswamis opened this door that now we can enter deeply, deeply in this Manjari Bhava and try to feel their emotions. I like so much, it, it is written here, they are completely equal to Shrimati Radhika. Mm. Eka prana, eta, eka atma. Mm. They are comp in the heart, in the uh, feelings. Eka atma. Huh? Eka atma, eka prana. Wow. They are completely equal to Shrimati Radhika. But the only difference is in their age. <laughs> They're childish, mm. and Sakis are not childish. And the nature of the Sakis and Manjaris are different, and because of this childness, there is selfishness, completely uh, absence of anything for myself to do. This is Manjari Bhava. They are allowed to come in Nivriti Nikunja and to serve the most intimate pastimes. And Baba is speaking, I think, here in this commentary somewhere that Kama Gayatri helps yes. Yes. to develop, isn't it? Right, right, right. Yeah, in the beginning. Kama oh, okay. I don't know. Kama Gayatri. Uh, further, up, further up in the further up in the commentary, Baba is mentioning. Where, please right. show me. Up, up. It's up, one up. side before in the, yes. the book. In this new edition, it is seventy-two. Mm, yeah, I have an old edition. Anyway, yeah, please, please, please matter. read. Please read the new edition. It's much, much more. Please there. Meditation, ah, please go Sundar. Meditation on Kama Gayatri. Yes. yes. Meditation on the Kama Gayatri mantra is very helpful for entering into this mood. Uh, the trans, I, I don't uh, um, read this, um, I don't know, this is uh, Sanskrit or but it's too complicated to me. <laughs> The transcendental, juiceful Cupid of Vrindavan is meditated upon and attained by the Kama Gayatri Mantra, which has the Kama Bija, the seed of transcendental desire, joined to it. He who makes the devotees forget the material world and who maddens them with his transcendental form, qualities and pastimes, is the transcendental juiceful Cupid, and on him we meditate the Himahi. That which liberates by being sung is a Gayatri. That which liberates by being sung is Gayatri. The worship with the Kam Gayatri Mantra is meant to save us from material existence and to make our bodies, minds and life airs fit for relishing the flavors of Rata Govinda's transcendental pastimes. And everybody is invited to come from Vrindavan to get the exclusive 
explanation of this calm gayatri by our Gurudev, Sadhu Maharaj. Hi, Gurudev. <laughs> because uh, this is only possible here in Vrindavan to get this nectar. How to understand this mantra from the view of the maid servants? So, I don't know, Guru, if you like to share this or all your devotees has to come in your room there. No, no, yes. All you are sharing so beautiful. I'm so I'm I just want to share one thing. You are so nicely sharing. Calm beach and calm guy tree. Two things is Baba mentioned. What is Kama Bija? Can you say? This is Klim. Klim. And this described seed of transcendental desire. What is meaning? What is this seed? Please share, Gurudev. Saran Baba, you share. The seed, the seed, Gurudev, is this lopa, this eagerness, this transcendental eagerness to identify with our Manchari Swarup. And this bicha, this transcendental seed of desire, is, is given when you chant the Kam Gayatri. It is giving us this lopa to become a manjari, to identify with our manjari vav and our service in this manjari form. Without this, it is not possible. Good, of, good. If you also said, sometimes Kling is Rata and Krishna. Not Radha Krishna. No? Radha Krishna and Kari. And Mandari. Ah, wow. Twelve and twelve. And half is Mandari. Lagado is null. Null lagado. Null lagado. Ah, yeah, the funny one is a Radha Rani. Twelve. Twelve is Krishna. And twenty four. And half is Manjari. Wow. Big secret. Because Krishna is the 24, right? Ah. Everybody say Krishna. Right? Yeah. 24 half is Krishna. But Krishna expands like this. Can you go to Prakashan and the outside? You know? So I read the last bit. Ah, uh, yes. Good day. <laughs> and they are not manjari, they are who will open inside. Punja, what is happening? Right. 
We will never see. We will not know anything. No. Wow. This is the mercy of the Kinkeri, Manjari, Rupa and Rati, who open as our Guru Maharishi. Wow. So living in this bhav is a big job. Wow. Beautiful. Krishna, are without energy? Is no Krishna. And what is energy is Rakta. <laughs> So twelve and twelve and half. Why half? Because it's a Monday. That's it. Wow. Has to be Bija, it has to be in seed form. Yeah, in our and our every moment 24 7, this has mm. to be Bija seed. Wow. My Guru Manjari put inside me wow. that is a seed inside. Is a guru karma. This is the wow. beach mantra. Wow. This is the big beach a seed who put what I can do. Everything is not in my control because this is the seed he gave me. <laughs> so nice, good day. Good day. This is so sweet. Can you hear me? Is am I am I? You can hear my voice. Okay, thank you. This is uh, so sweet because uh, you give us from this. That way, my twenty four seven meditation is started. Uh, mm. Because this is the scene. Mm. Arun Baba is okay. So Dave, you said you said the best thing, you know, with because without without Gurudev giving the sadaka, the my the Gayatri mantras, without his love, without his what he has got from his Gurudev, this is Sampradaya. This is what is coming down. Without you giving your disciple your love in this bija, nothing can take root. No no seed can take root. It's like you throw some some something on the field but it cannot grow but with your love with the guru's love with the guru's creeper this transcendental bija this seed can grow in the heart of the sadhakas this is beautiful and this is half is more important this half is half look half but it makes us full Mm. It must be because we are nowhere. So this half makes us full with all my mm. spiritual energy. Wow. That she makes us qualified to enter to feel that. <laughs> This is the seed. By the mercy, it comes and then Kama Gayatri to sing. Mm. And so in the Jugal Milan. What is in the first book, I see that, that pastime is very important. Manjari is helping where 
the first book you read with this explanation. The mm. I don't know this uh, that Manjiri Radhika need her. And oh, I like why you are worried. Mm. I can read. You like? Yeah, I like this. <laughs> Go in this deep. I like you too, Gurudev. No, I love you. In his spiritual absorption, Sri Raguna Das submits to Swamini's feet. Let me meditate how you overwhelm Shyam with your ecstatic place in the Kunjas. When even you are unable to bring him back to consciousness, you will need me. Oh, you will need me. Jai. <laughs> you will need me that time. This time you will need me. Oh, say. D during his loving pastimes in the Kunja, <coughs> Shyama faints of ecstasy because of encountering the waves of Radhika's vase, oh, Madana Mahabhav. This is the beauty. <laughs> My God. The waves of Radhika. He is fainting. <laughs> Too much. He cannot balance himself. <laughs> <laughs> He felt that he cannot wake up. Wow. He fell unconscious. But Anuragini, our passionate Radhika, is not satisfied yet. Oh, yeah. <laughs> so here, some excellent service is required. <laughs> Swamini thinks, Tulasi, I cannot break Priyatma soon. Why don't you please come? So maybe maid servant is a little outside standing. So she called. Where else is such a confidential service to be found? Yeah. Nowhere else. Fine. And now, Tarun Baba, now comes this what you before also explained. Even Lalita and Vishaka cannot attain this. They cannot attain this. Swamini will never yeah. call them in such a situation. Not possible. This is friendship. Yeah. She will exclusively this call... Is the one. Yes? Huh? That is the Bhavla Sati. Swami is confirmed. So fully Oneness. She knows oneness with the Manjari that she has a bhav lasrati. She never think for herself, only think for me. Only think for me, not herself with Krishna. So also yeah. Also we can see here that this 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 line alone, even Lalita and Vishaka cannot attain this, shows the position within the groups of Swamini's girlfriends. So she can, why can, but Lalita and Vishaka cannot be there because Radhika could not feel the same. She would feel very shy because the position of the Sakis is more above the Manjaris, but the nectar, the Manjaris joy are mu is much more deeper. So we can be there, and Radhika is not feeling shy at all. 
Raghunath Goswami is saying Brachabilasa Stava. So she is not feeling shy, but she will feel shy and she cannot tolerate Lalita and Vishaka entering because she looks upon them. But the Manjaris and Radhika are Tatatmya. They are very, very close. So they can, she can never feel shy and we can enter there. So this is so fortunate for us to even hear this. So this is the reason why Baba is saying meditation on Kamakaya. I cannot not enter because they have no bhava Wow. Yes. Yes. They have a or Sambhoga Admika. Yes. Wow. So that way. They are not qualified for that that Sir. place no. to be there. Only the Manjaris are living in Bhavala Sati. Their bhava is always to make happy to my Swami. Wow. If the Sakis would enter, Gurudev, if the Sakis would enter, it would be a disturbance for Radhika and, and the Lord. It would be Rasa Bas. It would not fit in the pastime, so only the mantras can come in. That is Kamakaya. And this is the reason why Baba that is, is saying, yes, meditation on Kama Gayatri is very helpful for entering into this mood. And which kind of meditation on Kama Gayatri he is explaining according to the proper Lila. <laughs> you will need me, Radhika. And meditation that Radhika will need, Manjari, will help in developing the mood of Sadaka to be Manjari. So beautiful. And we can meditate on this situation we just read, right? Yes. What, what Gurudev said, you will need me. Yes. This is explain explanation of this guy. Uh, this, this is uh, explanation of Klim, and this is yeah. the explanation which Gurudev gave of all mantra, Gayat, yeah. Kama Gayatri mantra. Because in Klim, as I understood, is the seed, but it is also the ultimate goal which brings to the ultimate goal of becoming 24-7. Yeah. Keeping us there. Yeah. If you know your seed. Yeah. Without seed, there is no attainment of the goal. Because in many mantras, this claim is present and it shows what is the goal. Are bhaiya, I see when you will fix this and when you will chant Guru Mantra with the claim, that means that you are asking from Gurudev, this is my goal, help me. Wow. <laughs> When you ask Mahaprabhu, you say, this is my goal. I need your help. Mm. Yes, Guru. Nityananda, I need your help. Wow. For this point, no other point. Because I want yeah. to attain this goal. At this point, Ah, that is the point. Yes. No other desire. No. I come to you, Gurudev, for desire. Yes. Because you are Prem Rupa, he may. <laughs> you see the Prem Rupa, his Radha is also Prem Rupa. So you will bring for this goal to Radha. My God. <laughs> because you are Radha Priya Saki. Yeah. And automatically so you are Prema There is nothing more to attain 
then this few words of Radhika, I need your help. Then all I, our desires are fulfilled, Gurudev, right? I, I love what Baba is saying. Baba is saying what Gurudev has just said to us. Later on, Baba is saying one very wonderful thing. He says, only those who know the feelings and the thoughts of Baba Maya and Baba Mai, all emotional, Radhika and Krishna, can enter into this. Wow. The maidservants don't want Krishna alone, not even in their dreams. Wow. They pray to Krishna, please take me along wherever you place your loving pastimes with your Priyachi, so I can engage in your loving service. I like this, this line, only those who know the feelings and the thoughts of Yuga Lakishore, and this is only, in our case, is only possible for the Manjaris. And so beautiful. Yeah. Thank you, Gurudev, because I know just like recently my sister came to me and she asked me, ah, oh, I'm so lost with chanting the mantras. I chant them, but I have no interconnection. I don't know how to feel, how to combine them in my feelings. And just now you make it like a beautiful chain. Unbelievable. How to connect it in our hearts. Oh, Guru Manjari, I come with this desire. I don't know how you put it there in my heart. I, I just don't know how it happened, but no. you put it there. And now please help me to reveal it, that it will be Prachodayat, that it can be always my meditation, that I can live in begging from you and from Chaitanya, that you are everywhere. Actually, I don't know it, but I have heard it from my Guru Manjari. Everywhere you are, please reveal yourself to me so that I can become ready for the service that you have, you know, in plan for me. So thank you, Guru. If everything is very connected and it's very emotional also. And clear now, huh? One so, thing I got is I share it. What is the last book of Rupa Goswami? Mm -hmm. huh? The last book Utkalika I see. Valeri. Yeah. Utkalika. Utkalika Valeri. What is the meaning of that? Utkal Valeri. What is the meaning? Reaper of devotion means to create the greed for that <laughs> right how to be greedy read that book and one is a Vilap Kusumanjit. What is the meaning of that? One is a, I have agreed for that to know more, and Sorry. I am reading Vilap, I'm crying. Means I'm living there. Wow. Then I can cry. Wow. <laughs> Because he is a Rupa Goswami, he is a teacher, he inspired us to be a greedy. This is the nature of the Guru, to be a greedy. And nature of the Sapa to start living there. So, Rati Manjiri. Is the disciple of Rupa Mandiri. He is living there and he is teaching us how to live there, dive there. Wow. Wow. But there is a difference between both. 
means when you start diving you don't want to preach again yeah. you have to be more diving forget swimming now <laughs> guy you on and on this is a great mercy of baba wow and radha ra sudani di is preparing for diving because radha needs that to develop and preparation that to prepare for diving with relax So we have to enter there, Guru. So you see the Prabhupada also he right. You cannot say he no right. He has no realization. He say our devotional practice by the devotional practice we got the salute. <coughs> and we have to develop sarup siddhi that is the goal for the we need for the service sarup. we need this sarup without sarup how will swamini call us and who to whom she is calling when there is no body we need a body we need a name we need a, a full swarup there that in that moment she is calling us that we are there swarup means radha dasi yaar that's it coming from radha rani Krishna cannot give sir when we are come to the soul consciousness we become gopi and we want to seek super soul this is gopi wow wow Soul can see only super soul. The gopi can see only Krishna. Wow, there are. But Radha can give salute to us. Wow. Krishna gave. Vrindavan. In Srimad Bhagavat is written that Yoga Maya is covered to the Vrindavan. Mm. Maha Maya, Maya cannot enter. Such is written telling the Bhagavat, Srimad Bhagavat. Mm. Wow. What is meaning? that we can protect ourselves self in yoga maya and if you want to give maya then mm. yoga maya will leave you mm. but you can wow. go very fast in yoga maya wow lap of the yoga maya wow this is the Uh, 
So that you, meaning is to leave Vrindavan is a very crazy idea, Gurudev. Bring Vrindavan with you <laughs> if there is a, some circumstances to leave. But never go out from Vrindavan. You go out from Vrindavan, then you are go out from Radharani. How does he can go out from Radhika? You just said that uh, Yoga Maya protecting Vrindavan, so that's hey, not Yoga so easy. Maya so. Not protect. Are Krishna is a watchman here. Krishna is a watchman. <laughs> is a watching everyone who want to disturb my dear. He said, this, this job is good for Vrindavan to me. I want to be watchman here. Who want to disturb my devotee, I will protect them. Wow, yes, we read this verse yesterday. This was so nice. All Baba's word, I say you. Well, I have no word. I wow. forget everything. Mm. I don't know. And now my voice is also gone, so I cannot say anything. Oh. I you give so much mercy today, Gurudev. Gurudev say, in your last time, you will live in Vrindavan and you will listen and cry. Mm. So I'm listening all of you. And I go to the exorcist and crying. No. So, stone heart is not as all is your mercy, all Vaishnava's mercy will give more and more realization. Yesterday, class, Garanga Sundar said one beautiful thing. I not realize that. He said, Manjari is a blessing to Swami. What? And oh. ornamenting to Swami. Mm. That is mm. Sringar decoration. When she goes to meet Krishna, she feels so heavy decoration, she starts throwing out because when he will see Krishna, this ornament is useless. It will take time to open it. She starts throwing. That time, why is she decorating? Because for Krishna, Krishna to remember Krishna. <laughs> that is it. Now, we always connected with you. So many things. And when she starts walking and it's become heavy for her, she's throwing. <laughs> and one thing more, he'll give me realization. When her clothes become scattered with an amorous pastime, and someplace she has clothes and no clothes. <laughs> That is also my Swami Singha. That Singha is also Singha. With clothes, without clothes, his scattered clothes is all Singha. And why this is happening? Because the Manjari want that it happens, that she will make again decoration. <laughs> My heart melt, I start in ecstasy to feel it. I share you again and again. Thank you, Goranga Sundara. You share this and you touch my heart very, very strong. Wow. I know, realize, you realize. Wow. I simply Guru Dev don't know what I'm talking. 
but it was so beautiful. I like this. This is also Shiva. All night I was meditating also on that because it was also a surprise for me. And then I understood, Gurudev, that even these scratches on the Radhika's body of Krishna are also Sringar dressing. And all her, all her emotions which are gushing out are her dressing. Wow. By your yeah. mercy, Gurudev. I al I always thinking about this. Uh, I simply don't not, understand anything. Yeah. Because this seed is there, no? Guru Manji. Mm. <laughs> yes. All more and more, every more. <laughs> if Krishna is there, nothing opens. <laughs> if Radha is there, something can open. But Manjiri, Guru Manjiri is sitting, he opened like this. Mm. Because you know that we are foolish. Yes. Wow. Yes. This dot on the cleaner is a Manjari. <laughs> <coughs> we are so full, we will never understand. So see to that. Thank you. So now I can. There is nothing to add, Gurudev. I think we have to finish here. No, one more line. One more line, one more nectar. Can we? Well, we are we are still swimming in the nectar stream now, so I like to enjoy. <laughs> one more line or no? Yes. If there is a desire, <coughs> we can read more. Can I share? There's this oh, last. Gopina, I'm waiting for you. Come here. Here, yes. Uh, I hope I'm visible and audible. Mm. So, this is really. Um, I'm very fortunate that uh, our Gurudev has planted this seed. Otherwise, how can we share these feelings? How can we go? How can this make us mad? Right? Not Without Gurudev's seed, because he is Radha Priya and he's Prema Rupaya. And I was just feeling that um, my brothers and sisters often help to understand, you know, like sometimes we have feelings, but also it's good to understand where to direct these feelings. Because as uh, Gorasundar said, uh, and Gurudev and Tarun Baba is very fine. The tuning has to be very, very fine because so that we can really become a Dasi of Radharani. And um, I was just reading one uh, Leela I wanted somehow to share because it kind of exemplifies and summarizes what we have been talking today and sharing about the Ujwala Rasa, but also about the uh, Bhavulas Rati, the Manjari's feelings for their Swamini. And I hope I, I can a bit also give some uh, pleasure to our Gurudev with this Leela. So one time Radharani is in the bower and she's waiting for her Sham, but Sham doesn't appear. And Radharani becomes very restless and she starts speculating. She starts thinking, oh, no, again, he's with someone else. Where is he? And the Manjari with her understands her feeling and starts going out to look for her. 
to look for Sham, for Mohan. And when she walks through the forest, she spots him. Mohan is lost in the forest. He has lost his way to the Kunja. So he's crying and he's looking for the way, but he cannot find it. And what happens then is that suddenly he sees footprints of Radharani's on the ground and he starts falling on the ground and he's rolling and rolling on that footprint. And here Ananta Das Bhavaji describes that this is the Anurag already happening. So the footprints of Radharani already drive Mohan so mad that he's already in loving exchange with her. And uh, the now the Manjari sees that scene and she becomes so proud. She becomes so happy, so proud of her Swamini that what kind of Shakti her Swamini has on Mohan that he's rolling on the ground on the footprints and mm -hmm. feeling the ecstasy. Mm -hmm. And now I felt then today and I listened to Gora's opening that now comes to fine tuning. Now what would the, what would the Saki do and what would the Manjari do in this moment? Mm -hmm. The Saki we know what would do in this moment, but the Manjari <laughs> takes Mohan and says, come, I'll bring you to my Swamini. And she leads him. Uh, through the forest to the Kunja. And this is what the, this verse is saying when Rupa uh, Tulsi Manjri says to Swamini that you will need me. I know I don't want friendship. I want to be your maidservant because then I can help you really. Mm. Then I can really help you. And then we can ex see the Yugala Ujwala Rasa. We can see the divine loving pastimes in the Kunja. As the Saki is not possible, the Saki would go another direction. But through Gurudev's mercy to the seed which he has given us, we can meditate on this half, on 12 Krishna, 12 Radharani, and the half brings them together. So I just felt to share this small, tiny realization I had today. Radhe. Thank you, Gopinan. Beautiful. No, <laughs> Today we're swimming in ecstasy. We're diving, Gora. Diving. Okay, we're not swimming. We're diving. Sorry. <laughs> My English, sorry. <laughs> so... One last line. Yeah. So to share what is uh, the unique in Radhika to Krishna. Shirata met Lalita and the Sakis on the bank of the Kaliya Rata. Because they had the same mood, they became acquainted with each other that day. But when the gopi saw the superiority of Shirata's love for Krishna, they wanted to become happy by arranging for her meeting with Krishna. Krishna then told his friend Subala, now it's, Krishna says, how many hundreds of Raj Gopis didn't I see under the shade of the Kadamba tree, on the bank of the Yamuna, on the day I subdued the Kaliya snake? I tell you, O oh friend Subal, then I didn't know whether it was day or night. Amongst them, there were about two or four jewel-like girls. And among them, there was again one particularly mind-enchanting girl. 
she entered my mind and the resultant smoke of Cupid did not allow me to sleep anymore. I am now constantly meditating on her. Who knows how the pain of separation feels. My body becomes skinnier and weaker every day. Govinda Da says, such are the ways of new young love. Srimati showed similar loving attachment when she first saw Shamsundara. When I saw this crown jewel of lovers, I did not know anywhere whether it was night or day out of ecstasy. Who can I tell about my heritage? Oh, Saki, what more do you want to know? I told you what's on my heart. When he will meet me, then I will feel fulfilled. And if not, then I cannot live anymore. This is definite. So, these two things are so beautiful. And now the service for the Manjari starts to bring both together. And this is what Gurudev said, this is the, the call of Swamini. I need you to make arrangement like this. And how beautiful this explanation of the Gayatris was to make a call to them personalities I asked for. Please help me like Guru Manjari, please help me to come to this point that Swamini will call me. Please help me. Unbelievable, this meditation, this means when we are meditating our Gayatris, we constantly send an SOS, <laughs> right? SOS, this means it's, uh, uh, save our soul, save our soul. <laughs> like this. Emergency, emergency. Uh, <laughs> 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 SOS, please help me that I come to this point that Swamini called me for some service like to awaken this sleeping Krishna who is falling unconscious. Wake him up. I need you. This is our goal as a Manjari. This is the highest goal. When this call comes, <coughs> All our desires are fulfilled, right? And only through the seed of the mm. And this happened by this. But we have to make some SOS. <coughs> this SOS. <coughs> this SOS. We also sending, also Swamini also sending. We feel, oh, Swamini sending us. Please come. This is Hare Krishna Mahamantra Gurudev saying. Wow. 
You know, so come, Lama Lama Hare Hare. Wow. Wow, this is Guru Dev's realization. So, Radha Mohan together, Hare Hare, I steal your heart. Please come, please help, help, help us in the Nikunja Seva. Please wake my Mohan. My Swami. Okay, 10 minutes. We should use. You like? Gorasundra, there is one line when you go down in the Tika of Baba. Uh, just before the one you read from Ma Chanava. You read it. I, uh, list to us. You read okay. it. Read. Yeah, Baba. but. One second. This is very beautiful. But I have to get my mobile library on top. One second. Oh. I'm 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 there in one second. I had it already open, but I thought it might not be time enough. But this is very, very beautiful, and it's a nice summary of, of today. Ma. Oh. So I just opened the PDF. What's the cool? Yeah. And then 16. Okay. Yes, coming. Very beautiful summary Baba is making about Baba Lasarati. Mm. Let's see if I get it quickly. 10, more, 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 more. 15. 16, very nice. 15, now comes 16. It's right before that you wrote, Gora Sundara. Um, here it goes. Yes. Mm, the mancharis, the buds, enhance the beauty of a flower, gopi, but are never separately enjoyable to the black bee, Krishna. Lalita and the Sakais have Sam Sneha, equal love for Radha and Krishna, but the Manjaris are Radha Snehadika. They have more love for Radhika. This mm. kind of love is called Bhavalasa. Yeah. So I like this, I like this example with the flower very much, which Baba is making here. The Manjaris enhance the beauty of a flower of Radhika but are never separately enjoyable to the black bee, to Krishna. So they never want to be enjoyed. They only want the happiness of Swamini and Krishna. This is very beautiful. Wow. Very nice. Yes, this is your happiness, is my happiness, in simple words. And yes, how to feel it constantly. Why do we listen this again and again so that like the stone-like heart can be melted by the power of these words of like Baba who really feels for us. You know, it's not that he was, he is feeling for us. She is feeling mm. for us. In these words, there's so much also desire to help us who are sitting here not so much full of feelings but desiring these feelings and like also our Guru, if he is also desiring so much for us to have these feelings even though i cannot feel so much but by repeating these words by you know having only a little attachment to the association with each other even in the zoom or especially in this Kali Yuga, we have the chance now with the Zoom. 
then these feelings can grow and more grow and then some something can happen in my stone like heart that i also feel the call i feel you know the mercy of our guru manjari i can feel the mercy of the vaishnavas who are sitting here making so much endeavor when the internet is not going nicely or to be here in time and But today it's working huh? yes very good <laughs> but i think no it is a special it is a special feeling to feel the the whole you know the whole family behind this and the two most yeah. you know the most precious jewels who are who are giving this to me this is like ananda das babaji raguna das goswami and my guru manjari so that this creates some feelings even if there's not feelings all the time right but sometimes i feel something and slowly 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 feelings will come more higher and more steady i can i also feel that this is what you say is 100% but i also feel that in my life i can see that this your happiness is my happiness starts in daily life so i try to you know whenever we can do something nice for someone else this is actually also manjari bhav sadhana because we wow. are all Sure. We are all in practical life. We are all following our jobs and following our families and not only spiritual family which is the real family but also we have real families. I can 100%. make an example. I can make a very beautiful example. Now I don't have any parents anymore. My father is gone, my mother is gone, my home is gone where I grew up. But Govinda Priya still has her parents. So mm. it is very wonderful also to please them for example to please mm. them they they are 75 going to 80 so it has nothing really to do i don't preach to them about spiritual life but to give them association and to give them a nice time so this is also doing your happiness is my happiness so if so you try to make another person happy this is in my humble opinion also very pleasing to guru and very pleasing mm -hmm. to swamini if you do it in a selfless way so otherwise how can you lead a daily life when you only think about radha and krishna but you neglect here even if your spouse your husband your your wife your children if you do something nice and something beautiful for someone else this is actually what makes for me spiritual life because in wow. material life you don't get nothing back you material life is not giving you any rewards love is not encountered in material life but if you give in your surroundings in your, if if you give your to your loved ones if you give to your wife to your husband to your children and everyone you meet you try to make them feel good i think this is also very helpful to to make the spiritual practice successful because if you fail to do it in this life here on this planet how can mm. you do it in the spiritual world so i see myself many times not being super nice to to everyone only maybe to 10 from 12 or something like that so for me it always is a a challenge to be very nice to everyone because if i cannot do it here i cannot do it there so this is the challenge we figure in daily life also it's very important i just wanted to share thank you tarun one last I like to add a, a little to this what you just explained. But I can feel that if I do a little service to Gurudev, I do it in the name of my family, even living or uh, uh, leaving. Sure. And, uh, sure. And I have this feeling that they get the chance to do this service also to Gurudev, and they get the best result of this. That is a different thing, Gorja. Gorja, no, this is correct, hundred percent. But both, both are important. <laughs> sure, no, it's only an add to that. What is yes, what you yes. just said. Yes, very important. Thank you. Point. Very important point. Gopinath. Gopinath. No, I, I was just so inspired by Tarun because I, I made a similar experience the last days. Is actually when you really. are giving from your heart when you really give love to a heart to a stranger to anybody you feel that gurudev's love is coming touching them mm. and it's like astonishment you don't have to 100%. say anything and they 
immediately feel the special love and attention. I just had a group of work colleagues who came to Vrindavan and they were in India for some days. And the only thing they remember is that one hour with Gurudev in his room, having a, a cup of chai, having some snacks and getting the love and attention from Gurudev. And that's still carrying them after so many days. They're only meditating back to that moment. So what was that moment I was feeling? Okay, externally, it was just having a cup of tea. But mm -hmm. internally, it was Gurudev as a Dasi of Radharani touching mm -hmm. their hearts. And that's what Gurudev has been doing all his life. He's traveling, not to preach, not to teach, but to reach. To mm -hmm. reach yeah. and touch the heart of everyone. And this is Mahaprabhu's mercy, because Maha Advaita Acharya took that promise from Mahaprabhu, give Prima Bhakti to everyone. You to see, everyone. you see. This Audarya, this Audarya yes. is yeah. only is without Audarya, without magnanimity, without Audarya, there can no, there cannot be any success. Everybody has to follow Mahaprabhu in this Audarya principle that sh giving is holier than taking. This is yeah. very, very simply formulated. If you give, you receive. If you take, you are poor. Mm. We are fortunate that our Gurudev is such a leading living example how you yes. can reach everyone yes. this is yes. the, this is his teaching how to reach the hearts thank you tarun for also bringing that into it i i very i very much you know felt uh, resonating right now because that's what i just experienced thank you here you see i this is this is what we what we are faced i i have not uh, the fortune to be in Vrindavan right now but we are forced to in in school and in, in every day, in daily life, you encounter, you don't encounter so many, many Manjari Bhav Sadakas. So, therefore, we are fortunate on Sunday or Saturday or Friday. But actually, we have to see, and I try to train myself when I'm in a good consciousness, that everyone you encounter should, should feel the love you said of Baba. Mm -hmm. Govinda Priya is wow. always telling me, always wow. telling me this, that when you, when what Gurudev is saying, every step I take, Every person I meet, you should treat the same as Baba. So, it's, of course, this is not very easy for, for example, driving out cars like that. But you see that this is actually the big challenge. We can make big words. We can speak wonderful pastimes and, and tattva and rasa siddhanta. But I feel if, we don't, if I don't practice this in my daily life, I'm a, I'm a hypocrite. So, therefore, oh. I have to do both. I have to do both things. I have to be nice and, and humble in, in my practical daily life and also, of course, the even more in spiritual life. So it, it will not work if we neglect one. Mm. This is my my opinion. Chai Radhe, thank you so much for sharing. It's Kishori. <laughs> um, I just want to say I really feel it's like what Gurudev said, that even if we're not in Vrindavan, we still have to always stay in Vrindavan and always stay with Radharani, which he said once means to always stay in love. And I feel also so resonated, like Gopinath said, um, that this is the meaning of always be in love, means always mm -hmm. give. So when we give, we love. Thank you so much, Radharani. Oh. Yeah. Oh. Thank you, everybody. Radhe, Radhe. Radhe, Radhe. See you soon. <laughs>